Tekken 7 has a lot of moves. And when I say a lot, I mean enough to make some of the most seasoned veterans quit in frustration. There's no trials. Okay, is there a... Is there anything to... Is there anything to teach me how to play the game in this game? My trial mode is looking at the move list. Okay. Oh, sweet Jesus. How many moves? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Awesome. Cool. 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 That was a bit of a joke from the streamer, as he has continued playing Tekken and has been rising through the ranks. But it doesn't change the fact that some characters have over 100 moves, if all variants are considered. To alleviate the memorization process, I would like to explain how you can take advantage of the button priority system to press less variety of buttons for combos. To show what I mean, let's look at an example with Lucky Chloe's C Crump Special. Lucky Chloe's C Crump Special is a string that is used quite often in her combos. It requires the player to hit down 4, 2, then 4, 3, 1 in rapid succession. This combo requires four different buttons to be hit if done normally. But if you take advantage of button priorities, you only need to press two. Watch as I press this button, then repeatedly press this one to do the same combo. As you can see, this method is a lot easier to both memorize and execute. So how is this done? To understand how this works, we first need to understand how moveset works in Tekken 7. Movesets in Tekken is a series of attacks done in rapid succession. Once the game recognizes the first attack of a set, there will be a window of time where the player can enter subsequent attacks. If the player does not enter the right button or mistimes it, nothing will happen. For example, in Lucky Chloe's C Crump Special, if I press 1 instead of 4 after the down forward 2, the moveset will stop and 1 will not come out. The interesting part of the system is that you can press other buttons within this window but as long as you press the right button, the move will still come out. Here, I will press 1, then 4, after down 4, 2, and the 4 follow-up will still be executed. If we were to take this property a little bit further, the follow-up attacks will still register even if other buttons are being pressed at the same time. For this example, we'll set up a macro button that presses all four buttons. We'll press down four two, then press the macro button to execute the four follow-up. We can also use the same macro to do the rest of the moveset. As good as this technique is, this isn't an end-all solution for all movesets. Some movesets share the same starter button or sequence, but branches off in the middle of the string. For example, Lucky Chloe can choose between a 2 or 3 follow-up after a 2 starter. If we decide to use the 4 button macro after 2, the 2 follow up will come out. This is because 2 out prioritizes 3. As a general rule, the multi button follow ups have the highest priority, then it is followed up by 1, 2, 3, and lastly 4. 
You can check the priority system with moves like Asuka's Standing 1, which has a follow-up with all four buttons. There are some exceptions though. Moves such as Julia's Red Orchid combo may out-prioritize Mountain Crusher, despite it using a 3 instead of 1. So in the end, the macro technique can only be used by strings that have no branches or have the highest priority follow-up. The other thing to note here is that you don't have to use the 4-button macro to do these strings. If you are afraid of accidentally getting key charges, you can substitute 2-button macros instead. We'll do the same Chloe down for 2 launch string, but this time around we will use the 3 plus 4 macro. You can also use the 1 plus 3 and 3 plus 4 macros and press them at the same time. These methods use more buttons than the 4 button macro method, but still may be easier than pressing each buttons individually. So there you have it, using macros and button priorities to simplify strings. If you have a combo that benefits from this technique, let us know in the comments below. We're going to end this video with a macro button combo compilation, but before we do so, I want you to know that we make various fighting game related videos. So if that's your thing, consider donating or becoming a patron. This channel is solely funded by viewers like you, so help us keep creating new content. Content such as Tekken combo videos and KBD tutorials. If you haven't, you should really check out our Asuka video. Alright, till next time, have fun with fighting games.